In this video, I'm going to show you how to search, filter, and sort your inventory. To search your inventory, click in the search box of the toolbar on the inventory page and type in the term you want to search for. In this case, I'm going to look for everything that's red. Click return and you'll see the results here are all the items that are colored red. The search box will look through the entire inventory for whatever character string you type in. So, for instance, if I type in, I want to say, <clears throat> find an item that's a size 4, if I type in 4 and hit return, I'm going to get a lot of sizes that are not 4 because the number 4 appears in a lot of these records. So, what do we do? Well, we can filter our inventory and get more specific. So if for, I wanted to find, for example, everything that's red in a size 4, I could search the entire inventory for everything that's red. And then in the size filter box, I could put in a 4 and hit enter. And now I'm only going to see all the size 4 red items. By the way, this method will work the same if I type red or select red in this filter box and select size 4 in this box. Okay, so let's talk about the filter controls now. You'll notice in the left hand side of each filter field there is a filter control and the controls are relative to the type of data that's stored in the column. So for example, in a string column which contains letters and numbers or anything that you like, we can search for a contains which just means that the string has to be within any of the data, does not contain, so that would exclude whatever string is typed in, equals, meaning that it will look for an exact match, does not equal, same thing, if it doesn't exactly match it will, will show up. We can also search with a beginning character string or whether the field is completely empty, has no value at all. For numeric fields, we have different options. There's equals, does not equals, and then we have greater than or less than uh, options here as well. And in date fields, we can say equals, look for things that are on or before, or on or after, or where the year, month, or day is equal to whatever value put in, um, or dates in between, and null values. So. By default, the part number and part description filters will be a contains filter, and then numeric filters and date filters are set to equals. You may need to change those depending on your needs. You can also filter the inventory page by simply clicking on an item and selecting filter. Doing that, will filter the inventory for whatever value was clicked. So it's kind of a, a fast way to enter in a term into the filter field. And if I were to filter for everything yellow here, for instance, I can very quickly filter that way. This is particularly handy if you're doing something like processing orders and you want to filter by an order number. We can see here everything on that order number. So that's filtering. Finally, if you want to sort your inventory, you simply click on the header and it will sort in ascending or descending order each time it's clicked. If I wanted to see the early or the latest expiration date, for instance, I could click this and I would see that 321.19 is the latest. If I wanted to see the earliest expiration date, I would click it again and I would see that this one here, or excuse me, I got that reversed, but uh, this would be the latest date here, and then this would be the earliest expiration date here. And that works for every column. So if you click on the header, you'll see the little sort arrow, and that also tells you that it's currently being sorted by that column. By default, the sort order when you load the page is going to be the most recent activities. Um, the statements involved in the most recent activities will appear near the top. And those are the basics of searching and filtering.